Now that the data has been exported to Kogo and it's sitting there, we can access it and through survey to create some stakeout tables and such. So what we're going to do is pick back up in our training guide at page 1-28, step 16. And we are going to access our stakeout model. Um, go ahead and get back into your Power Civil and your layout DGN file. And we're going to switch to the stakeout model. So just double click on the stakeout model from the models tool. And I'll just show you we've referenced in just uh, this the parking lot and uh, we've left some room over on the right to place a table. So what I'm going to do is grab s survey. We mainly want to show you these tools because they're available with Power Civil. They're part of the survey module and uh, some people might overlook them. So I launch survey. In my case, survey comes up in the pull-down menu. But it also might have a you know another menu that shows up with the same information. So under plans preparation, I want to here enter place stake table. It requires Kogo, so I'm going to go ahead and initiate and have it open up Kogo. Because it needs to see it. So I'll open Kogo and then grab the tool once again. So place stake table. And I'll bring up a dialog. Now here, I'm going to kind of set up the dialog. I'm going to back site, and in my case it was, we've got some points already set up called BND2 and BND1. So BND2 and BND1. Now what I did is I have a, a chain stored and it's just a chain out in space around the parking lot or they've, we've maybe we've gone out in the field and we've set up two benchmarks and those benchmarks are going to uh, not get disturbed during the construction and grading of the site so we set these two points out and we're going to sit up on one and back set the other and turn angles to the parking lot to stake it out. Now I'm going to be um, staking out points so I just need to select the points. So what I can do, there's a couple ways to, to get them. I need to fill out the table here. So there's a couple ways to uh, get that in there. One of the easiest ways is just to come in here, since they're visualized, and you can see them, is just select them graphically like that. So now they're in a graphical selection set. And so what I can do is I can click this Get Points from MicroStation Selection Set, and it will populate the information into the list. I don't really need this point, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that from the list. It's not removed from Kogo, it's just removed from the list. The next thing I want to do is kind of set up what, what do I want in my stakeout table. I want back site, I want occupy, foresight, angle, and this I want to set that to, let's say, direction. So just click the punch down arrow. And then I'll do distance, and then I'll do station, and let's and offset. And that'll be station and offset from what? Let's say station and offset, and I'm going to compute that from this proposed property line. So what I did is I stored a couple of points on the property line, created a chain between them. Those are these points, and it's computed the station and offset from that from those. So again, where you're going to be set up. And now that I have that set, I can always add prefixes and suffixes if, if I need to. Over in the very bottom right, I'm going to expand there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up how I want the table to look. So it's going to actually, you know, these are display preferences for the table. So on the table text, I'm going to set that to 2. And that's fine. And then on that, that would be, let's say, 2 as well. So they're not too big. Click OK. 
the lines and I can change that if I want the table headings once I get all that I have place it puts the table on my cursor and I simply just find a place to, to, to plot it reset when I'm done and of course we can zoom in and see what it looks like so it's the direction distance and all that the same thing if I want to you know quickly maybe place another type of table I would go survey plans place coordinate table this time it automatically populates all the information from Kogo so I'm just going to grab my property corners which happen to be those and I'm going to grab the you know point number north and east and well that's fine and compute again from the property boundary let's say and I can also place a table so I can expand that and set up the display preferences set those a little smaller once I have it I hit I can either hit place plot the table or if I want I can say write this stuff to an output file write this stuff to an output file give it a name of a file I can have it be, you know, for example, comma delimited just by adding commas. And I can hit create file when it and when I have place, it'll actually write the file as well. And then in my plans production I can see there's the file and I can look at it. So the coordinate table and the state table. And let's just look at the coordinate table. And they can quickly be plotted in the file. So two little tools that are kind of in survey, but I uh, just wanted to make you aware that they're there and useful.